Hey, happy Halloween everyone. I'm Jason Allard and I've been working on a web series called Abandoned From Above where I visit interesting, abandoned places and tell their stories. I have a lot of fun working on this series, which includes placing my head on various bodies and deep diving into what makes these places special. So if you haven't already, you can check out the entire series on my channel right now. And if you have watched my videos, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Since today's Halloween, I want to get into some scary topics and answer some questions that I get whenever I talk abandoned places with people. So totally understand if you want to just turn all the lights on right now, because this might get kind of spooky. This is an easy answer for me, and it's definitely the Lad School in Exeter, Rhode Island. I visited there in 2011 when I first started getting into urban exploration, so I didn't have all my camera gear with me, I didn't have a drone at the time, but I remember walking on the grounds and immediately the vibe was just completely off. I felt like someone was watching me the entire time. And this was a known place in Rhode Island where people had documented different signs of hauntings and ghosts and paranormal activity. I had never experienced it, but I remember getting goosebumps walking through there. And it's probably the, the most dangerous place I visited. Um, in one of the buildings, my foot went right through the floor and it really heightened my senses when exploring abandoned places. I'm much more careful now. So overall, it was a pretty bad experience when I visited there for a lot of reasons. So I usually joke that when we go into abandoned places, I'm so hyper-focused on getting the shot that there could be a demon standing right behind me and I wouldn't even notice it. But there was one time where I thought I was experiencing something paranormal and it was in the old Winsocket Middle School, which, which I actually made a full-length documentary about. And while I was walking through the school, uh, me and the crew split up and went in different directions. So I was on one wing of the school and I couldn't see where everyone else was but I could start to hear this piano coming up from maybe a floor above me. And I didn't know that my friends were above me, so I thought it was a ghost playing the piano. And it was very eerie because there was no one else in the school, so all sounds just echoed off the walls. And it wasn't until I went upstairs and kind of like sneaked around one of the corners and I saw my friend hunched over playing the piano that I realized that it wasn't a ghost. Um, but, you know, Maybe something has happened around me while filming these videos, but I'm too preoccupied with getting the shots to even notice if there's something around me. Without a doubt, 28 Days Later is the best horror movie. I can watch that movie over and over again. You got the killer combo of Fast Zombies, which was a total switch up from George A. Romero's. And then you have the soundtrack by John Murphy, which I love and still listen to today. It is a completely fresh take on the zombie apocalypse, which I've watched almost every zombie movie ever made and highly recommend that one. Actually, I'm probably gonna put it on after I make this video, honestly. The one type of abandoned place that I would never step foot in is any sort of abandoned mine. I watch plenty of Urbex YouTube videos. Uh, one in particular is by The Proper People, which I'm a huge fan of, where they explore this uh, abandoned mine complex and they're mapping the whole thing out and it's pitch black and it's just the two of them. The idea of going into a place like that sets off so many red flags for me. So you can't pay me enough money to step foot in one of those, but I'm gonna link their video here so you can get the full experience on Halloween and see what I'm talking about. And maybe you'll agree with me, um, maybe you're more supportive of it than I am, but I'm totally good with going into any mine. How would I scare my friends in an abandoned place? That's an easy one. I would just call the cops. Yeah, that'll get them running. That'll, that'll get their heart rates up pretty quick, much quicker than anything else I can think of. Yeah, and just call the cops on them. That's the sound of the police. So this is a pretty extensive list for me. 
but near the top of it is the Monsell Forts in Kent, England. And these are anti-aircraft fortifications built as towers sitting in the water off the coast of England. They were built in 1942 and they've just been sitting there ever since the war ended. So they're almost completely untouched. They're pretty amazing, interesting engineering feats. And I visited a lot of different um, defensive fortifications here in the United States related to World War II, um, but I would love to see a little bit more. I know I have a very big interest in World War II history. This is just a piece of that. And, you know, like I said, best of both worlds. It satisfies my interest in history and the abandoned at the same time. Um, it's definitely spooky world. This is an abandoned horror park in Massachusetts and everything was left there uh, the same way it was on the last day of operation. I think the biggest piece and something that I featured in most of my videos is the reaper skull. It's a giant reaper skull that's installed on the side of a building, completely overgrown. And what most people didn't know is that inside this reaper skull was actually a door. And if you open that door and walk in, it leads into a horror museum with all the props. Uh, and it was completely terrifying because it's pitch black in there. You get the horror amusement park, and then you also get the fact that it's abandoned. So, you know, you put those two together and it's a pretty frightening experience. That's all I have for my scary abandoned questions. If you have any more, feel free to leave one down in the comments below. I'm just gonna be chilling here eating candy all day, so I'll be able to respond pretty quickly. So thank you very much for watching this video, for watching all of my videos. I really appreciate it. Hope all of you have a great Halloween, and I will see you soon. Thanks. You can check out the rest of my Abandoned From Above series on my channel right now. Thank you very much for watching.